Russia pounded Ukraine's infrastructure Tuesday, and Polish media reported that two people died after a projectile struck an area where grain was drying in Pshewodov, a Polish village near the border with Ukraine. The reports that a Russian missile may have crossed into a NATO ally, Poland, which would likely trigger a response from the transatlantic military alliance, dominated the Pentagon and State Department briefings. Here, Pentagon spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder. First, let me go ahead and highlight up front that we are aware of the press reports alleging that two Russian missiles have struck a location inside Poland near the Ukraine border. I can tell you that we don't have any information at this time to corroborate those reports uh, and are looking into this further. And so when we do have an update to provide, we'll be sure to do so. At the U.S. State Department, Deputy Spokesperson Vedant Patel declined to speculate on how the U.S. would respond until the facts are clear. But, uh, of course, uh, Poland is an important uh, ally and partner. Uh, and, like I said, we are working with them to determine what happened and assess next steps as well. Earlier Tuesday, as world leaders gathered in Bali, Indonesia, for the G20 summit, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had an urgent message for what he called the Group of 19, excluding Russia. I am convinced now is the time when the Russian destructive war must and can be stopped. Asked about Zelensky's remark, National Security Council communications coordinator John Kirby told VOA that Russian President Vladimir Putin could stop the war today if he wanted to, but there are no signs that he does. We've got to make sure that Ukraine has the tools, the capabilities, the weapons they need to continue to succeed on the battlefield so that if and when President Zelensky, and only President Zelensky can make this determination, is ready to sit down and negotiate, he can do so with enough leverage and strength to be successful at the negotiating table. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said all the blame is on Ukraine, which he said is categorically refusing negotiations. U.S. President Joe Biden is seeking to unite world leaders in opposition to Russia's war in Ukraine. But Kirby told VOA it is still unclear how many of the 20 countries will sign on to a joint statement condemning Moscow. Cindy Sane, VOA News.